What's up guys? Welcome back to Persistence of Prayer. For those of you guys who are new, I'm Andrew and I'm 20 years old and today I want to talk about a topic that has so many Christians just blinded and I just want to expose, you know, the evil behind the music industry because if we look in our world today, right, if we look in the media, if we look in the radio stations, if we look all around us, what does the music usually talk about? It talk, usually talks about sex, it usually talks about money, it usually talks about drugs. And guys, that's not a coincidence that the music, you know, the world, the worldly music, the stuff that, you know, we hear is literally against God. Every song, every music, every word has a source. It comes from an idea. Our world is so corrupt that the music literally glorifies everything that is literally against God. Before I even get into the scriptures, one thing you ought to ask yourself before when you listen to this type of music is, when I listen to this music, what does it make me want to do? A lot of Christians will say, I can't stop having evil thoughts. I can't stop having lustful thoughts. I can't stop having bad thoughts. And it's because the music you're listening to is literally feeding evil into your spirit. There's a spirit behind every single song. Every person who sings this song has a spirit and either they're going to be worshiping God or they're not going to be worshiping God. If you're listening to a song that makes you want to do anything against God, turn it off. Turn it off. I don't care how good the beat is. It doesn't matter how good you think it sounds. Turn it off because literally the source of that is not from God. And as believers, it's important that we renew our mind with things that are of God. Ephesians 6.12 says, for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. So we're not fighting against flesh and blood, you know, things we can physically see. We're fighting against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in heavenly places. So guys, we know that Psalm 150 verse 6 says, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. But ask yourself when you listen to this type of music, is it helping my relationship with God or is it affecting my relationship with God? Because that would determine whether you should listen to it or not. And even if you ask the Holy Spirit, he will tell you, he will show you, you know, turn that off, turn that music off. A lot of people think like, oh, the music doesn't affect them. Like a lot of people will tell me, oh, the music doesn't affect me. Like I hear it and it doesn't do anything to me. Whether you like it or not, we're made to worship something. So it's important, guys, that our worship goes towards God, you know, the Father, the one who created us instead of worldly things. You know, as Christians, we're called to be in the world, but not of the world. So if we're in the world, but not called to be of the world, then if we're listening to the music, you know, the world is blinded. Second Corinthians 4, 4 says that the God of this world has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. As a believer, we are to be set apart from the world. We're not to be following in the customs of this world. James one twenty one says, so get rid of all filth in your lives. Now, mind you, this is not a suggestion. This is telling you, get rid of all filth and humbly accept the world God has planted in your hearts for it has the power to save your soul. And guys, we know that life and death is in the tongue. Chapter three, verse five says, in the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches, but a tiny spark can set a great forest on fire. And among all the parts of the body, the tongue is a flame of fire. See guys, the tongue is a flame of fire. It says it is a world of wickedness corrupting your whole body. It can set your whole life on fire for it is set on fire by itself. So not only when we, when you listen to this music, are you downloading this into your spirit, into your soul, into your body, but now you're speaking things into existence. So when people who have evil spirits in them, when people who don't know Christ are saying this music and they're speaking it into you and then you say it out loud, now you're speaking things into your existence and now you're inviting things into your life without even knowing. That's why it's important that Instead of listening to worldly music, listen to gospel music. You know, there's a lot of different artists like Torn Wells, Tasha Cobbs, Travis Green. There's, there's so many things that you can listen to besides the things of this world. Think of all the highest people, like the highest celebrities that you can ever think of in the music industry. And look at how everything they're saying is literally against God. These people, the top celebrities, the, the most famous rappers, the most famous artists, these people are worldly guys and we're not of the world. So we shouldn't be supporting as Christians downloading their music because we're literally supporting their music. And we know a lot of them are in satanic occults and a lot of them are devil worshipers and they're not worshiping God. So we shouldn't be listening to this type of stuff. One thing that I used to ask myself when I used to struggle listening to worldly music is, I would ask myself, does this music promote an ungodly message? Because if it does, then it means that we shouldn't be listening to it. Romans 12, 2 says, do not copy the behavior and the customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is God good and pleasing and perfect. See, how do we expect, right, for God to be changing our mind when we are putting disgusting, nasty music that this world has to offer in our head? We are called to be set apart. 
We're not called to follow the customs of this world. The world may love this music. The world may love the entertainment industry. First John 2 15 says, do not love this world, nor the things that it offers you. Guys, remember life is just a vapor. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. These people making this music do not have the love of the Father in them. For the world offers a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see and pride in our achievements and possessions. Ooh, everything we do, guys, is either going to hurt our relationship with God or help grow our relationship with God. And the music plays a big role. So we need to be careful as Christians what we are putting into our body. 1 Peter 5 verse 8, stay alert, watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. So as believers, we're supposed to be on guard. We're supposed to be on guard for the attacks of the enemy. As we know that Satan was in charge of music, you know, in heaven. And when he fell, the Bible says, I saw Satan fall from heaven down like lightning. So we can clearly see that he's still in the music business, you know, in this world. So it's important that we're alert. It's important that we're aware as believers not to be blinded. There's so many people who are blinded who don't even see how wicked the music is and how much it actually affects you. You know, when you listen to worship music, it's just a certain feeling that you get, you know, sometimes it'll bring tears tears sometimes it'll bring happiness sometimes you'll feel the presence of god just as when you if you listen to secular music it'll bring certain emotions too guys this week i challenge you guys try going a whole week try going the rest of the week with only listening to gospel music and see the type of effect it has on you also one thing new we can do is leave in the comments what your favorite gospel artist is and you know if i haven't heard of it i'll definitely check it out but that's all i have for you guys today just a quick quick video letting you guys know that as christians we should not be listening to secular music we need to be aware that this music has evil spirits behind it and agendas and motives and it can really play with our thoughts and our spirits so i love you guys i hope you guys have a blessed day to the youth they used to be Tell your heart